Hello everyone. Uh, today's video will be on the Excel automation. That is how you can uh, automate Excel or the task which we perform in Excel uh, by using PowerShell. Okay. And uh, I will be uh, making a uh, couple of more videos on this Excel automation. This is because it is not possible to cover all of the subjects or all of the topics related to this in this single video. So today I will be just starting with the basics and uh, you just uh, comment me on the uh, comment box whether I should make more videos like this or not. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing, uh, the first step uh, which we uh, should uh, or follow is calling or uh, triggering the application or the triggering uh, the thing which will uh, start the uh, excel sheet so how we can do that for that we have a cmd cmd let okay new object and then this is called com object this is a, an object so we are going to trigger uh, this thing excel dot application and what this will do is that it will start the excel application so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, store uh, this sorry this whole thing on a variable called excel which we will use later on okay now what will happen if you will uh, just you know um, type this and start working uh, for uh, start working to create a workbox worksheet it will be created but everything will be in background if you will run this script you will not see the excel sheet here okay excel uh, has many uh, properties and many methods okay and uh, how you can find this uh, you can find this by using the get member command let or cmd let so if you want to uh, know the proper use of uh, uh, get member command let or gm command let then you can go to my previous videos uh, there is a uh, there is a video uh, on the basic uh, powershell command lets okay so you can go that and i will paste the link of that uh, that video where you can uh, go through this uh, whole process and you will have an idea that how to find the uh, properties and uh, methods associated with uh, an object okay so here in this call this is an object so uh, there is object uh, there is a property with the, uh, this object uh, called visible okay why we are doing this uh, because uh, this this thing is uh, important because if you will not uh, uh, make the visible property true then you will not be able to see the excel sheet okay excel sheet will open but it will open in the background and not be, you will not be able to see anything okay so this thing is uh, important Okay. Uh, uh, let me write the uh, right comment here first. Then it will be easy for you to understand. Excel workbook or uh, not workbook to make the Excel visible. Now, what uh, what is the next step? Next step is once this object start, uh, you will find that it does not have any. Um, you can say it does not have anything, uh, any workbook on it. Okay, you will just uh, see something like this. Let me run it and uh, I'll show you what I mean. You will get something like this. I'm going to you know um, run this whole session or uh, do this whole session like this only so that uh, you will be able to see so you will I will only run this command then you will see something like this and you don't see any any of the um, Excel uh, means any of the Excel sheets here right so it is of no use to me so this is what uh, this com object is and I have made it uh, visible that's why it is showing you but it does not contain anything so let's now create a 
work workbook here so how to do that workbooks then uh, then there is a add method okay here in add okay and uh, let us uh, store this uh, whole expression in a variable so that we will be able to use this variable later on okay now let us run only this line so let's see what happens so you can see that uh, this uh, new uh, workbook is created and uh, let me um, uh, this whole thing is created and uh, you can see uh, that it, it contains three sheets okay so this was about adding work book okay now what if you want to you know um, add few more sheets so what you can do so let's add sheet. So to add, to do this, actually this this whole thing is called workbook, and these sheets are inside this workbook. Okay. So adding uh, sheets to workbook. So what we can do is, so let's now first create a variable new worksheet equals workbook. sheets dot we have a method called add and we will add it. and you just notice here that uh, sheet will appear here once I run this so you can see that our sheet has just appeared here okay now what if uh, you want to um, uh, give a particular uh, some name to it and how you can do it or how you can you know um, select a particular worksheet okay so in order to select a particular worksheet all you have to do is for example if i want to uh, select a worksheet 3 then what i will do you will see uh, just what i mean yes let, let us uh, select a worksheet how you have to do do is you can uh, do uh, by doing this by uh, using this workbook okay then this uh, worksheets then typing item and then giving the item number so item number means sheet number uh, so let, let us select this one okay and uh, we can verify which sheet is selected also by using this property activate So this one, uh, let's see what happens if I choose item two. Don't know what happened. Okay, yeah, you can see now. Similarly, uh, you can see what uh, what happens when I uh, select item three. You can see yes, this is getting selected. Now for item four. So you can see that if you want to reference a particular worksheet then you can do this by uh, using this item uh, item uh, property and then you can uh, verify whether uh, which is that sheet means uh, which sheet you are selecting by using this activate method okay so you will have an idea that what it is okay so uh, now uh, Okay, let me give a heading as soon, uh, a remark here. Selecting a sheet and highlighting. Okay. Now uh, let's move to the uh, next uh, thing. What if you want to change the name of a particular sheet? For example, uh, um, let us uh, 
select a particular sheet um, so how we can select a particular sheet you, um, definitely by using the bow method so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rename the tabs the sheets actually okay so sheets so how I can do is I'm going to create a new um, variable new name and what I'm going to do is again I'm going to use this variable then this uh, worksheets then I'm going to select a particular worksheet okay which worksheet I'm going to select this one okay. so uh, all we have to do is we have to uh, store whole, uh, store uh, this everything this whole of uh, the expression in a variable so let's store it okay now what we can do is we can uh, rename it new name sorry new name and there is a property called name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name so uh, let's give it a name test sheet one we can say and now, now just observe here that uh, which sheet is going to this uh, one of these uh, will be the name of one of these will be changed okay and that is item one okay so just focus here okay on the excel sheet and see that it is it has uh, changed the name has changed similarly what will happen if i uh, choose this name and uh, you have to change this name because two sheets cannot have the same names okay so let's see what happens here See, the name has changed similarly for this one also you can change the name oh, sorry 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 because we have to select both of this this is because this has changed so we have to change the um, value which is stored inside this variable okay because uh, if you will not uh, do that then the value with the previous item 2 will be uh, stored here is stored here actually so by running this too uh, we are refreshing the value oh sorry the sheet name because this name is already assigned here so let's change the name and now uh, let's uh, run it so you can see okay So this was about the naming uh, worksheet okay and uh, what if you want to delete the sheets okay so how you can delete a sheet first let us again if you want to specify uh, uh, if you want to delete a sheet then what you do what even uh, logically if you see uh, what you will go do in that you will go to this worksheet uh, okay or uh, any of the worksheet for example if I want to delete this one what I will do is I will select this one and then I will choose this delete and then it will get deleted so in the same uh, similar manner we have to do the same thing only what we have to do is we have to select a particular sheet okay and how we can do it by using this method okay here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one this uh, this this code here so what will happen now that this code uh, this uh, this uh, sheet will be selected okay it is selected now you can verify also here by using this activate method so you can see or Similarly, let us uh, see what happens here for this. So you can see this also. So what we have to do now that we are no, we know that this is a particular sheet. So now what we have to do, we have a method called delete, okay, which will delete this sheet. Just observe here, okay. See, it has deleted, okay. So this is how you can uh, perform basic operations, okay. Uh, now second thing is that. Uh, saving 
the uh, Excel sheet. Sheet. Okay. How you can do it? So what you do when you save a sheet? So what you do is uh, you give a path where you want to save the sheet. Okay. So right now I have a folder here and on the on my uh, desktop. So I'll be saving the sheet here. So what I will be doing is I will be copying this uh, path. Okay. And uh, I'll be using a variable here. Sorry creating a variable here okay and uh, I will be uh, giving a name okay, okay. Excel uh, let us give a name test Excel sheet dot Excel I don't know what is what should be the extension but let's see uh, if, if uh, this works okay now what you can do is you can use this workbook variable to save as and then you can use this uh, variable file okay so let's check whether anything is uh, saved here or not so just uh, just see here okay Okay, let's see what happens you can see that this sheet has appeared here at this address okay now what uh, if you want to close this sheet let me uh, close this okay uh, close that folder now what uh, what if you want to close the sheet so closing the sheet what we can do how we can do it we can we all we have to do is you we have to use this workbook and there is a, a method called close okay so we will be using this method and this sheet will be closed okay it has closed how to close this um, workbook So you can see by doing this we can close that actual object also uh, that com object also sorry not com that uh, whole workbook also so uh, this was all okay uh, about the uh, basics so this was uh, just a, a brief uh, about the excel uh, for now uh, this is all and uh, thanks for watching the video and if you really find it useful then please uh, share and subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up and uh, press the bell icon so that whenever i upload any new videos related to this you will be notified okay till then bye take care